This is a new thing in the robot industry to have co-working robots with people and robots together. But we have that and that will probably be the future. The productivity will, will increase because the robot never take lunch, never go to restroom and so on. So it will surely increase. I'm here because the printing industry is looking for robotic solutions and we are showing some robotic solutions here and I have other robot solutions I can discuss with the people here in the show. Mainly the, the robots are needed in the finishing part of the printing industry because it's in the, in the finishing department you are having the heavy lifts. So in the, in the finishing department you receive a lot of pallets full of paper, sheets of paper, which you put into a machine and take out to a machine again after it's processed. And all these heavy lifts in and out of the machines we can robotize. I'm focused on the printing industry because I have experience from the printing industry from press sales and therefore I know the customers. The, 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 the challenge is that the printing industry wants finished products, like when you are buying a car. No printers want to go into development projects saying this and that. What they want to do is say, the product is here, that suits my purpose, and that means we have to develop the product to a real finished product, like when you buy a car. If I say real long range, I don't think there will be any place you cannot robotize. But today, this is also a question of money. Uh, what is more uh, economic, labor or robots? And you can say also the car industry now, some specific areas they are going back to manual uh, work together with robots because there are specific jobs where the manual working, working person is more economic than a robot. But here in the industrial part of the world, labor is much more expensive than robots for a specific job. We are now at a company called Stibo Graphic, which is Scandinavia's biggest commercial printer with web and sheet head printing. And we are now in the division for sheet cutting after sheet head printing. And what you see here are some pallets with printed matters, uh, printed sheets, which we now are going to take to the sheet cutter line. The pallets here are coming out of the 40 inch offset press, 4 over 4 long perfecta. 
and we take it to the sheet cutter line here, where we have a, we would put up the pallet. We have a, a conveyor system here for the pallet, where we have to centralize the pallet. And then the pallet is running into the robot, and the robot will perform what the operator normally do to airing and separating the sheets. Yaskawa is a Japanese company uh, mainly producing uh, industrial robots and uh, servo motors. We are a general robot uh, producer. Uh, Yaskawa is one of the biggest in the world for that and uh, the volumes you can say they are uh, going to the automotive industry mainly. Yeah? We have worked with automotive for so many years and now we are seeing the opportunity to get into other fields. And therefore uh, the printing industry seems to be uh, very interesting and uh, hopefully important for us in the future. What is special just now is that we are feeding the, the vibration table from its backside. Uh, we do that for two reasons. First of all we have the robot away from the operator area. So it's a kind of safety. The robot is hidden behind the vibration table. And secondly, we turn the sheets in this process. Uh, and this is because most of the sheets coming out of presses with coating, the coating side is upwards and it has to be downwards in the, in the saddle stitcher. So we, instead of using a pile turner, before the, the sheet cutting, we have integrated this, the pile turning as a rim turning in the process. The productivity will, will increase because the robot never take lunch, never go to restroom and so, so it will surely increase. Now we have installed uh, this first uh, system with a double arm robot here at uh, Stibographic and this is the first robot uh, worldwide, uh, a double arm robot for the printing industry but it's no special with the robot. The, equipment around the robot is a special thing, the grippers and so. Now we are on the other side of the sheet cutter line and the feeder part of it. Eh? And behind me you see the robot running and what it's doing, it's separating and airing the sheets just like the operator does it manually. What we did with the first one and what we are doing further on is we establish a test site next to the print shop and let, let the printer help us so he can supply pallets to us with printed uh, examples and so on. But that we are, we are of course not in a in, in print, real printing environment. And there's a big difference between testing and being in the real environment. But this is a classic 
discussion in robot developments. We want, the customers want us to develop the robot to a finished point, and we, we cannot develop the robot to a finished point without having access to the real environment. The main body of the robot is the same for a car uh, industry or a printing industry, but uh, we design the grippers especially for each uh, application and each customer. For example, here at the Steve Graphic, we're trying to uh, design the grippers so we should be able to handle the paper sheets as a human being are doing. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very tailor-made. And the first one we are having here, we have spent more than three years. But that depends also on the application. This here was a very difficult application. Uh, this is moving sheets from a pallet to a vibration table at a sheet cutter line, so it's big sheets. Huh? But uh, if it could be smaller jobs, let's say six to 12 months. Uh, we partly we developed the software in Sweden. We are producing all the control cabinets for whole Europe uh, at our Swedish plant. Yeah. This is one of the first co-worker robot cells in the world. Eh? This is where operators and robots work together uh, to control the robotic process in a sheet cutter line. Uh, there are so many. Um, various jobs coming through the system that we need a manual input from the operator to evaluate what are we handling just now. This is done via the touch screen here. You see the, the cell is here and then we can go into various uh, menus here. We have the robot speed, we have the paper thickness. We can go here. This is about the pile. We can go here. This is about the gripper setting, how we twist the grippers, and so on. Huh? I think in a decent future, you will still see a lot of manual labor in the printing industry next to the robots. And I will add, that our robots do not run without skilled graphic operators because we need to evaluate every job carefully because we start to run it. You have different kinds of papers, printing images and so on, and that have an impact on the temperature in the pile, the uh, relative humidity and other things. So we need to have a skilled operator's input about the job. And this is a very, this is a new thing in the, in the robot industry to have co-working robots with people and robots together. But we have that and that will probably be the future. We require to work with operators who know their trade. So we, pro we want to operate with skilled operators from the printing industry. We can educate everybody to operate these robots but it requires a certain level of motivation from the employee. Yeah? This has nothing to do with age. Uh, there's a lot of middle-aged, uh, mature employees in the printing industry, not so many younger ones. And we can say we can easily educate the mature ones also, subject to they're open to new things. This is, the key is, Everything related to robotics will require changes and you must be open for changes to succeed. It's our aim that uh, we will uh, gain more orders for the printing industry and maybe not only for this application with the double arm robot, uh, there is a lot of other places in the printing industry where we can uh, use robots very effectively.
technology for printing these things is fantastic. Uh, everybody says printing is declining, but that's only if you look at specific sectors like some kind of magazine, especially uh, newspapers and some kind of brochure. But if you look at specif specific magazines, special kind of brochures, packaging, flexible packaging, uh, industrial printing, the future is bright.